Hey guys, just a quick vlog. About two months ago, I put out a video on Google Flutter versus Swift and Kotlin Java. Basically, I was looking at non-native devel development frameworks for mobile versus native mobile environments or languages. So Flutter is Google's new framework to create non-native apps for mobile development. Whereas you compare this to Swift for iOS and Java or Kotlin for Android. And what I asserted in that particular vlog was that because of the power of non-native solutions like Flutter, like Xamarin, like PhoneGap, as an example, like React Native, the need for native mobile development, Swift, Java, Kotlin, etc., the need for native mobile development was going to drop and fall into niche over time, partly because these frameworks were getting more and more, these non-native solutions, cross-platform solutions were getting, were getting more and more efficient, but also because the hardware, the phones themselves, are getting much more powerful with every generation. So any performance deficiencies that you would see in non-native cross-platform environments like Flutter, like uh, PhoneGap, those uh, performance issues were diminishing literally every year. So I picked up in one of the comments under that previous video, and I'll put a link to it below if you haven't seen it, was that in Beijing, China, they uh, cannot find iOS jobs. It's so prevalent in, in, in that there's no iOS jobs that there's even a, a meme for it. So already in some markets, a big market, Beijing, you're already seeing the uh, nicheification, the nicheification, the dying of native iOS development in favor of non-native cross-platform solutions like Flutter. Now, I'm not saying it's going to happen overnight, but this tends to be the case. I've seen this type of thing happen before where the uh, cross platform solution will eventually win out as, um, as technology progresses. Uh, Java is a pretty good example of that. Not on the client, but on the server side, Java is, uh, is huge. Anyway, I won't get into this anymore. I discussed this in my previous video. You could take a look at that. It's going to take time, but it is going in that direction. Again, it's don't be an absolutist when I'm saying that it's going to go niche. It doesn't mean it's going to obliterate native development. It just means that native development is going to drop over time. How quickly? That's anybody's guess. But there you go. That's why I keep saying learning the web stack is the best uh, route for new developers. It just gives you a huge amount of flexibility in terms of the type of programming you can do and the types of jobs and work you want to do, whether you want to be a freelancer, check out my soon to be released freelancing course, or you want to go get a job, check out my IWD full web stack course, very popular. All right, enough with the shameless self-promotion. That's it for now. Bye-bye.